Okay, hey, what is up guys? Welcome back and today I'm doing a quick review of the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. Okay, hey you GoPro fans, or maybe not, if you're familiar with this then you should be thinking already this does look kind of similar and it does indeed apart from the branding. On the side you get your ports, you get your mini USB, mini HDMI and you get your micro SD card slot. Now it's only 64 gigabytes, really wished it was 128 since 4K uses more memory, but anyway, that's how it is. So turning it on with the usual button, you get your usual kind of interface on this e-ink display and using the button at the side you can go into the menu. So to get around you press the power button, that goes down and then you can click on the take picture button or record button and that will select which is fairly easy to get used to and it's not too bad to be honest. Um, so yeah. But clicking on the front again when you're on the home screen then you can cycle through all the different modes fairly easily without having to go through all the menu and stuff. Now holding down on the side won't open the menu, it will actually turn on Wi-Fi mode, which I will now show you on my phone. So this app is really good, it's the GoPro app and you can share videos really easy, transfer them and as well as pictures and change all the settings from here. Pretty much everything you can do in the GoPro is possible on this as well as some extra stuff. Um, so And it's a lot easier as well, so I'd highly recommend using this since the GoPro doesn't have a proper screen on the back like the Silver Edition um, as this is the black one. So, as you can see there, there's my live feed from the GoPro, which is really neat, I really do love this feature, it tells you the battery life, the Wi-Fi mode, you can turn it on and off, and also you can see all your modes, you can cycle through here, all your video, picture modes, and in here you can go advanced settings and change all your resolutions, and your focusing, and megapixels, and wide angle, and stuff like that, it's really neat and really easy to use. So looking at the GoPro itself, the build quality is top notch as usual, and in the bottom here we have the battery compartment. Battery life not so great, only 2 hours pretty much, um, but I do have external ones, fairly cheap which I will mention later on. So yeah, on the side again you see the ports, on the back you see this little port here, and this is to actually add a touchscreen to make it like the Silver Edition. So a GoPro wouldn't be a GoPro without the waterproof case, and here it is. Now on the back right now I have the open one so that you can get better audio because when it's completely sealed, vacuumed, um, then no sound gets in. So with this one sound can get in a lot better and I would highly recommend using this if you're not going in water because the water one really does take away from the sound, it really does muffle it up. Um, so yeah, but you can obviously change them fairly easily. Um, it'd be a pain in you, if you had to unscrew it or anything. You just click it in and it's really solid and I really do like this technique. I really do feel secure about it when it's closed. I don't feel worried, especially for an expensive device. So there it is. Now I think this thing does look pretty cool in the case. I really do like this. It really just screams GoPro. And all the buttons are really easy to press. It's really great. I really do love this case. Um, so here are the batteries I mentioned before. Fairly cheap, I will leave the link in the description so you guys can find that and I will also tell you guys some more in the next video.